Hello, I'm Colin Pallison, and here with the international LGBT news headlines from Pink 60. The World Psychiatric Association has called on world leaders to decriminalise homosexuality. It also described conversion therapy as unscientific, unethical, ineffective and harmful. Despite that, a study from the European Agency for Fundamental Rights found that up to 50% of doctors in some EU nations still think being gay is an illness. Mostly found in Eastern Europe, the disturbing attitudes also exist in Italy. NHS England has decided not to make PrEP available to men at high risk of contracting HIV. The department chose to relinquish responsibility for prevention, but instead offered £2 million to research other ways of providing the drug. Electronics giant Panasonic will become the first Japanese company to recognise same-sex relationships under its new anti-discrimination policy. The company is under the spotlight as it's a key sponsor of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. And finally, two Aussie actors are to star in Dustin Lance Black's new series charting America's recent LGBT history. Guy Pearce and Rachel Griffiths will star as real-life activists in When We Rise, a seven-part miniseries for ABC with Gus Van Sant at the helm. Well, that's all from us at Pink 60 for now. Join us again tomorrow for the latest LGBT news headlines. And you can find out more about these and other news stories on our Facebook and Twitter pages by searching for Pink 60 News.